Hey guys, uh, today we've got Liamara's fifth lesson and we're going to be working on uh, her turns. We're going to continue working on her clutch control, um, using the gas and the clutch to make turns. She did quite well on that last lesson. She started to get the hang of using the clutch and the gas to move the car and controlling it at a nice steady pace as she's moving off. So we're going to continue with that today. Uh, we, we touched a bit on, on some high roads last time as well, one high road actually. But today we're looking to go a bit further out. Um, the plan is for her to start from home. I'll see how she, <laughs> we have to see how she gets on with that. How, if she wants, wants to do it or not, uh, we have to see. Uh, hopefully she agrees to do it so that we can um, yeah, let her kind of experience that and see how she gets on. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're gonna get into some challenges so that she can that she can you know meet and we can discuss any of those things that happen on the lesson so without any more further ado guys let's go and see how she does hi you all right you. you right start here today yeah I okay think so. i hope you anyway when you're coming out the gate okay, okay? let me just uh, give this a quick wipe I'm a bit are you yeah. what are you nervous about I guess just I haven't like given up before the first time. So. Okay. Are you are you too nervous? Do you want to go uh, a different road just further down, or um, you're? I don't know. I kind of want to try. I feel like I regret yeah, it. I, I, th I think you should try it. I'll yeah. help you anyway. Okay. Okay. I think you should definitely try it. Jump in and make yourself comfy. Yeah? While you do that, I'll get the notes out from the last lesson, yeah? So from the last lesson, how do you feel it went from what you remember? Um, I think it went it went well last time because mm. I went onto the main bit busier roads mm -hmm. and I was I dealt with it okay and yeah. then my steering got a bit better and also I practiced the clutch control as yeah. well. Um, but I did have some problems with it. And then with after the, cl a while, the clutch control. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you remember what you were doing to control the speed as you were coming out of junctions? Yes, so I was using the clutch so I would push it down mm -hmm. to slow the speed yeah. and bring it up if I need to go a bit faster and then down. Yeah. But I tried to practice as I was steering to hold it mm. at the biting point and then push it down if I need to go slower mm. to focus on my steering. Exactly. Um, yeah. So we're going to carry on that same kind of thing today as well, even, okay. even coming out of here. You want to do it in a way that you're not bringing the clutch up all the way until you've done the turn. Yeah. Um, would you want to try that or do you want me to help you on that one with mm. the clutch? I'll, I'll try. It yeah, give a bit it, busy. Give it a try. No, we're not going to rush to come out. Okay. I'll uh, give it a try and then um, when it's safe we'll move out. We're not going to be okay. in a rush to come out anyway. We're going to just go left which is easier than turning right. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Having a look at the notes here as well, we said we're going to do a bit more practice on that clutch control uh, on today's lesson. Okay. And sometimes you're pressing the gas a bit too much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think from the last lesson it was because, it, I don't think you realise sometimes you're pressing it that much, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't realise. On some yeah. turns. Yeah. Yeah. So as you're turning, if you hear the engine going really loud, yeah. what do you reckon that means? Too much yeah. gas. You're probably pressing a bit too much gas. Yeah. And what would you do in that case? Just ease off. Exactly. Ease off a tiny bit, but keep the clutch controlled and then um, apply more gas afterwards once you re regain control of, yeah. that, of that, yeah? 
Uh, some of your left turns were a bit wide last lesson as well. So today, oh, yeah, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so today I'm going to help you a bit on that one as well. Okay. So letting you know when to turn yeah. so, that isn't, so that you're not coming into the wrong side basically. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, any questions with that? Any? Uh, not so far. Okay. All right, so when you're ready. Okay. I just want to make sure that I didn't knock the camera. I think my leg just hit the camera a little bit. Uh, Phone disconnected. Just tap it a little bit. Just tap the screen. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. When you're ready, let's start it up, yeah? Have I turned it all the way off? Yes, all the way off now, so just use the clutch to turn it back on. Well, let's turn it all the way on now, yeah? Because for right now it's off. There you go. I wouldn't, don't use any gas here because it's going to be, it's, it's really small, small here, yeah. yeah okay. So don't you just use the clutch control for now. Oh, I Yeah. Mm. Probably won't want a strong bite as well. This will probably be enough, yeah? Okay. And then just have a... Do I need to signal here? Yes, please. Tiny bit, start turning to the right as well. Turn more, please. So, a bit more left. Left now. Touch higher. So we can signal left here as well, yeah? So a bit more forward. So no rush to come out here. Just keep checking the right side and the left side as well. But I think this bus is probably going to pull over. So if you indicate, yeah, yeah, I'm going to clutch that smoothly. Turn more, please. Turn. Bring the clutch a bit more. Sit and straighten up. There you go. All done. There you go. <laughs> Get out of your house. All done. Thank you. Okay, we can see it's quite busy up there, isn't it? Yeah. What are you gonna press when these guys are uh, stopping? Um, Clutch as well, yeah, that's it. Good. Very good. Don't bring it up all the way like that, just keep it still next time it starts moving, yeah? And we're gonna turn right at the roundabout, please. Okay. But if you look at the crossing, where's that lady going? Yeah, so, yeah good. Then we, can, then we can carry on now, yeah? Which is in the middle. We're turning right here, please. Yeah, turn more. So, so keeping out on this bus is signal. Yeah. If he still signals left, we're gonna go past him. Yeah. What else is coming up now? What can you see? Um, another crossing. Good. Can we see the right properly with that crossing? No. Not really, because there's cars there, right? Yeah. Once we know that it's clear, then we can carry on like that. Yeah, well done. Yeah, this should reduce your speed a bit. Because if this black car indicated to go towards this way, yes. we would have priority because it's coming from the right. We'll talk about that in a bit, yeah? Okay. Break a bit more here, please. Uh, this roundabout, let's turn left. Looking at the signals a bit, if they're not indicating, we'll carry on to make more turn, yeah?
rain gets heavier, I remember you can uh, use the wipers a bit more, but right now it's okay, isn't it? You can still yeah. see out of it, right? Yeah. Take the next road on the right, please. So since we're going quite slow, what, what do you think you need to do? Uh, the gears, the uh, that's it. Good. A bit more gas, please. Let's take the next left. <laughs> okay, let's check that mirror one more time. That's Turn now. Yeah, more gas once you've once you turned, especially if it's clear like this, add more gas, yeah? Okay. Let's pull over on the left, please. And this time, don't worry about any uh, driveways, you can just block them if you need to, yeah? Okay. Good, just secure the car first. I'm just going to get the iPad. I've left it in the boot. One second, yeah? How do you feel that start was? Um, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Um, there was a few times where I missed some of the giveaway signs. Okay. Um, Which ones were those? The one near Roundwood Park on, on that straight road. And um, there was, you told me to look on to see if the, com the car coming towards me had mm. the signal on. Mm. And if they did, I would have to stop at the giveaway line and mm. give them away to turn. Yeah, what was on that giveaway line though? What else was there? Um, or why, or why, was there why was the giveaway line there? Do you remember? Um, it was, I can't remember. It was a roundabout there, yeah? Oh, roundabout, okay. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. let's just have a quick talk about what roundabouts do and what you're going to have to do around them to do it safely, yeah? Okay. So in the first place, who's got priority at roundabouts? Um, anyone on your right side. So anyone coming from the right side, yeah? Yeah. Good. So on that road, what you said, round, uh, by Roundwood, we were coming from, let's say, here, yeah? Yeah. And you can see that clearly, yeah? Yeah. So we were going straight on. And there was any was there any road on the right there? No. No. So we didn't really worry too much about cars coming from that side because there should be no one there, yeah? But cars coming from directly opposite, if they're turning right, if they're going straight first of all, do you have to worry about them so much? No. No, because when you go, they're just going to go there, aren't they? Uh, if they're turning right, like that, now, where are they coming from now, as, you, as they get to the roundabout? They're it, going to come in front. Yeah, target. yeah. So if you look at, like, their direction, yeah? So it's going to be like that. So it's kind of, it's like they're coming from the right-hand side, isn't it? Yeah. Once they start coming around. Yeah. Which means they've got priority, yeah? Yeah. So anyone coming from the right-hand side on the roundabout has priority. Yeah. So as you approach it, you look into the right first of all. Yeah. If there's no one there, you look into the right, to the cars ahead of you as well. Yeah. Okay, let's do a, a few more examples. So if we have one that's this is like a typical one where um, it's got the roads on each side yeah mm -hmm. and we want to go straight you can see that yeah yeah so if you want to go straight and then you approach it and then there's, there's a you look to your right there's a car there what does that mean for us um we have to wait because the car's on our right side and where is he going straight ahead yeah it should be going straight ahead yeah uh, what if you approach it and then you see him doing this then we can go forward 
Correct. Why is that though? Because he will be turning left into this road, so he's not obstructing us in any way. Good. Um, what if he's doing this? Then we would need to wait at the giveaway line. Why is that? Because he's going to come in front and turn here. Correct, yeah. And it's coming from the right hand side, yeah? Yeah. What if you approach it and then you see a car this side doing that? Going right? Yeah. Um, we have priority because we're on his right. Good. Uh, what if you approach it and then you see a car doing this? Um, if if there's no one here, mm. do we? Is, does he have priority? Less priority, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because so remember with that example I gave earlier, where yeah. he's going to be coming from the right. Yeah. So he's still have priority, yeah. <coughs> yeah. What if you're both doing the same thing like like that? Um, he still has. Mm. I'm not too sure. So here, if you, if you, even if you flip it, you're both in the exact same position, yeah? You can, both, can you both go? If there was enough space, yes. So there's, here and right now, there's no one's got priority, basically, yeah? Oh, okay. Because you're both doing the exact same thing. Um, so if it's big enough, you can go around each other. But a lot of them that are around here, especially uh, the, the small ones, yeah. there won't be enough space to do that. And there won't be enough space for both cars to go around each other. So in that situation, you're going to have to make like eye contact with the other driver. And if they start moving first, you just let them do their thing. Let them go and then you do your, you do your turn afterwards. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because yeah. both of you have priority and both of you don't have priority in a way because you're both doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But what if... I'm just, just trying to test your knowledge here, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we're going straight on. We see this guy here, but then we also see... Um, Car going like he's on the roundabout already, like there. We have to wait for the person on the roundabout. Which yeah. person? This one. Uh, where is he going though? Oh, he's going straight ahead. Yeah, he's going straight ahead. And this person, if we had enough time, could we still go forward? That's the key there. If we have enough time, do you think you have enough time with one car blocking him? Yeah. Most most situations no to be honest. Oh, okay. Especially here, like once the car is already on the roundabout, there's going to be very little time for you because once it's gone, this guy is gonna. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. So if um, it was like two or three, exactly doing the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Good. Good one there. Or if there's like a big vehicle, let's say there's like a bus, going the same way as this car. Like that. That's yeah. gonna be plenty, plenty of time. So these guys will block him. Yeah. Like that. And then that will give you plenty of time to move. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to kind of see this happening beforehand. Though. So when you see this guy stopped, you need to ask yourself, wait, why is he stopped? He's got priority. Then you look at the cars blocking him. Yeah. And then you see, okay, there's two vehicles blocking him. Then I can definitely go. Okay. Because if you wait until these vehicles are here to figure it out, it's a bit late by then. Yeah. And if that's the case, let's say you figure it out late, what do you have to do? You still have to wait. Just wait again for another yeah. chance, okay? Yeah. Should we put that to the test on some roundabouts that we might get? Yeah. yeah. So we're not going to do loads, but um, yeah. if you get any, that's the kind of basic, basic principles of how to deal with it, okay? okay? Um, still going to help you a bit more on those left turns so that you're not turning too well. So I'll tell you what to turn. Okay. Remember, look here as well. Look through this little screen here. We'll show you where the pavement is in. You want to follow along the pavement so you're not going oh, too okay. wide. And you can also use the little mirror as well. See the tiny mirror there? You can yeah. sh it shows you where the road is so that you can follow it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm like, yeah, I think I stayed too late. So, so like, turns. yeah, so like on this turn, we were coming into this road, for instance, rather than doing it like this, you're sometimes going over there and then you're trying to do a shot yeah. up on like, yeah. and if you don't turn enough, you're going to end up like being too much to that side. Yeah. So you want to be following the curve. <coughs> don't go to the left too soon, obviously. Right, right. You want to keep right. in the middle yeah. and then follow it follow it around like that while yeah. checking your left mirror first okay yeah yeah any questions with that uh no cool nice start by the way thank you let's carry on when you're ready
at the end of the road, turn left please. Take the next left, please. Good. bump was a bit harsh because yeah. there was a bit of damage on it at the, at the oh, bottom okay. so that's why it felt worse than it actually was. Okay. Yeah some of them they'll have a pothole at the bottom of it and it feels really rough. Yeah. Roundabout, let's turn right, please. Good. So we're looking at the signals as well. So this guy's turning, but the car behind is going quite fast. Yeah. Oh, he's, they're all turning, so these guys are all turning. So let's actually go after that, that last one, yeah? This one? Yes, please. Just move it slowly. Let's go, please turn. Turn, turn, turn. turn. Let's see. I'm going to straighten up. And then add gas now, yeah? Was I, was I pressing the gas? Yeah, that's why he was going a bit quick around that turn. Okay. So the move off was good, but then as you were trying to make the turn, you added too much gas there. Oh, okay. Got another one here, haven't we? Yeah. So, a bit more this way, so you can some space. Yeah, check the right, and then you keep moving if it's clear. Roundabout, let's turn left, please. Next time, signal a bit closer. Closer? Yeah. Start looking early because this one you can see from far away if it's clear or not, yeah? Yeah, on some roundabouts they're quite open so you can see them from really far away whether it's clear or not. Good, well done. What's that? Did I slow down too much there? No, no, you had to. These guys were in your way, weren't they? Yeah, that was good. 
Oh, you mean is that why, why it's rumbling, you mean? Yeah, yeah. it rumbled and then I kind of slowed down a it, bit. It rumbled because you were slowing down, but you had to slow down. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So like here, for instance, I'll reduce the speed here because it's getting a bit tight here, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Brake more, turn more to the right, please. That's it. What do you need to do with the gears? That's it. How long these guys will take to turn? So, yeah. be careful with this box, make sure we've got enough space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At the next roundabout, let's turn right, please. So you look to the, the why is he not moving? That car, that van was blocking him, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. There, were, there was enough time for you to keep moving. Then you go. Slow down some more, please. If you're unsure, let's say you're unsure what to do at a roundabout, what do you do? Just wait. Just wait. Yeah. yeah. It's never a rush. Stars good though. There, yeah. That's very good. Um, here, let's follow the road towards. The right, please. Okay. Don't need to signal here. The road bends that way anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, as you're moving off, just add a bit more gas. So the clutch, keep it exactly what as you're doing it. Yeah. But add a bit more gas in the background. Yeah. nasty pothole that was there. Are you comfortable? Um, sometimes my leg, like, I can't keep it on the clutch for so long. Oh, yeah, they're going to neutral right now because we've just got a green, we've just got a red light. These guys have to get a green out first and then we get a green light off them, yeah? So you can get, get it sort of ready and then you, when your foot's comfortable again, you can put it back into gear, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so like these guys are going, I'll, I'll get into gear now if I were you. Okay. We don't know how long their light is going to be green for. Yeah. Okay. So it's not going to be like really smooth every single yeah. move. Don't worry. So sometimes. I just get like nervous at something. No, no. Like I did something wrong. Or... No, no, no. You're not going to get it perfectly smooth every single time. Yeah. That was good. So here it's a slight slope, so let's use a handbrake. Okay. Yeah. Handbrake and then gas on. And then gas on, yeah, from now. Biting point. And then handbrake down. Well done, excellent. So you've got to do that when you're on a hill or on a slope, yeah? Slower because this man's gonna open his door, isn't he? Yeah. 
the kind of traffic I wanted last lesson so we can practice right. with clutch control. Yeah. yeah. What do we see on the left here? Uh, is that the crossing? Yeah, lots of people trying to cross, or well, nearly crossing anyway, right? Yeah. So keep an eye on them, yeah? until he's moved out the way, yeah? Because if you go any further, we don't know how long it's going to be there for. Yeah. We don't know about the crossing, yeah? Much higher? Yeah. A bit higher? Higher. There you go. The car behind us is very close. Oh, was it? Yeah, and rode back a tiny bit. Is it because it's a slight slope? It was a slight slope there, yeah. It's really hard to notice sometimes, isn't it, yeah. whether it's a slope or not? But the more you drive, the more you can kind of just, you'll see that, yeah, this is a bit yeah. of a slope. Good. You're better off waiting here rather than halfway on the speed bump. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, start going forward. So it's good that you were kind of watching out for those guys. Mm. Uh, they do have to give us way those guys, yeah? Oh, okay. But yeah, sometimes they will come out quickly, so it's, it's good that you were paying attention to them. We're going to go straight here, please. Let's position us a bit more left, a bit more than that, because we want to be like there, that's perfect. Well done. I hate being the first one at the traffic why? line. It's scary, I don't know why. Mm. Please, because you're the first one that has to be. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> You can see there's a car reversing there, isn't it? That means yeah. probably can have less space than normal, so we're just gonna approach it slower, yeah? Yeah, that's it. When any cars are doing maneuvers like that, just be very careful. before you stop here. Yeah? Because sometimes the light changes as soon as you stop and then if you're not in one you don't you won't remember. Yeah. Good. Let's be going straight on, please. What lane do you think you're going to need to be in to go straight? Yeah. yeah. See that rumble there? So that's not really a big deal, especially when the car is going to move on again. Because okay. as soon as you press the gas again, you see what happened? It's moving so far, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
But if you were having to slow, slow down more, what would you have done? Going to get one. Exactly. What might this bus do so shortly as well? Um, stop it. Yeah. So what are you looking out for? Bus stop. Good, good, excellent. You're looking for bus Going stops. Around. You're looking for his signal as well. Yeah. So if he does that now, what are you going to do? Um, Just check him here and go around, yeah? yeah? More to the right, please. More to the right. Yeah. That's it. More gas. So you don't want to leave it too late when you're going around. You don't want to go right. there and then try to just like check, yeah, check a mirror and start positioning yourself. Behind me might have been trying to do the same thing. Yeah, and if you leave it too late, then they will go around you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just like here as well. You know this guy's parked, so you just yeah. position yourself to the right from early. Don't leave it too late. Yeah. That's it like that. Where's this car going? Uh, right. Yeah, so where you can position yourself. Yeah. yeah. More gas on that. Did you, did you hear the gas go quiet yeah. a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Let's go a bit faster here because it's a 30 now, yeah? Change up. Change. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What do you see on there? So that's some more let them cross all the way before you get there, yeah? Oh, that's it. Remember if it's one long um, crossing, yeah. they need to cross all the way. Yeah. There's an island in the middle, yeah. they can get to the middle and they can carry on, yeah? down again so remember if you see stuff happening like flashing lights yeah. anything out of the ordinary just reduce your speed a bit more yeah okay. especially here we couldn't see around the bend properly could yeah. we Go a bit slower because we can have cars trying to go around his buses and go slower please slow down some more slow down way more than this yeah I'll keep moving forward yeah yeah let's go forward keep more to the right go really slowly here because this guy's this car's in the way isn't it that's it and then turn more turn more left please good and let's turn left at these lights Don't rush. Make it Let's turn. Let's press the stop. No, you're already going through. Yeah. But you don't want to rush into the turn, and or you don't want to go fast as you're going through. Because yeah. remember, you're making a turn there. Yeah, yeah. So you want to actually slow down rather than go faster there. Okay. Yeah. And the, if you, there were car behind us, was very close as well, so it would have been quite dangerous to stop there like that. Yeah. But we're already going through the lights changing. 
you can keep moving, make yeah. a turn, but don't speed up on the turn. Yeah? Stop, well done. Yeah, make sure you can hear the gas first before you do anything else. There you go. So it's smooth on the clutch there, yeah? So even if the gas is making noise, that's what you want. You just you still want to bring the clutch up. Yeah. Same pace as before, yeah? Or maybe even keep it still for, for a bit longer. Okay. What can you see on the floor in front of us here? Um, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. yeah. so we're going to have to be careful, make sure yeah. we've got enough space before we go forward, yeah? Hold it, hold it for longer than that. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you feel? Do you feel it's a bit jerky? Yeah. It's not yeah. terrible, but yeah. to make just make it super smoother for yourself. Yeah. Just hold the clutch longer. It'll be much smoother. Yeah. So the lights been green for ages. We're going to keep an eye on them. Check your centimeter as well. There you go. So when you approach it, it's been green for a long time. Be ready for it to change. Yeah. yeah. Card. If the way he's positioned, where do you think he might be going? Right. Yeah. What do you notice about this bit of road as well? Pardon? What do you notice about this bit? It's up. Yeah, so what should we do with, yeah, let's use the handbrake. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, set the gas from now, get the biting point as well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice, well done. But don't follow him because he might be going right, yeah? yeah? Yeah, you see? So we check your left mirror. Just position yourself more left to go around him, yeah? So. Good. You're okay, keeping on this bus to signal as well. Yeah. Once we get here, we're committed now. Yeah. Carry on, yeah? Well done, Leah. That was really good. Thank you. On these kind of lights, yeah. I'll tell you in a second, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so on those kind of lights, that's a pedestrian crossing there. Okay, yeah. So is the guy going? Okay. Yeah, check the mirror. Okay, that's it. So that's a pedestrian crossing there, so you'll be looking for people that are near it that have pressed the button, then it might change to uh, red. Okay. Normally you wouldn't change to red if no one's around, right. but just be ready if okay. people are around, yeah? Yeah. Same as this one here, if there are people near it, yeah. be ready. 
but sometimes it changes when no one's there because remember sometimes, sometimes people press the button and walk away yeah or yeah exactly So when you feel it rumble like that, it means you've let go of the gas a bit. Oh, okay. So as you moved off, you started off with a, with a good amount of gas, but then as your car started moving, I eat yeah. So then you'll struggle a tiny bit to keep yeah. moving. So let's do, let's go slower here, please, because this bus okay. is going to swing out quite a lot. So let's slow down a bit more. Okay, check your mirror before you go that way. That's it. Turn left at these lights, please. So we can signal left from now. Which mirror you can check first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go into the left lane, yeah, because we're in left number. Yeah, check the left mirror, left lane. That's it. Can you signal on, please. Signal left. Yeah. Turn left here. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Yes. Slow down. Remember when you're making turns, you want to do them slowly. Yeah. To make it safer, yeah? Yeah. Okay. There was a lot going on, so I just thought I was doing with my feet. Right. Traffic lights were turning right, please. So I'm going to help you a bit here because we haven't done this one before, yeah? yeah. So position yourself to the right. Yeah. That's it. So who's going to have priority here once the light goes green? Um, the oncoming vehicles. Exactly, well done. So the oncoming vehicles, where are we going to wait? Behind the box. Just by the box there, yeah. Okay. Just in front of it. It's not that we're not allowed to go in it because we're we allowed to go in it when you're turning right but yeah. it's just for the position for this junction needs to be just a bit before the box to give yeah. space for cars that are turning yeah. over there yeah? a bit more right so i'm gonna stop just like here yeah stop here please so we're looking for those cars to stop or get a big gap and then we we'll make our move, yeah? Okay. What do you think about after this white car? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, start turning, please. Turn. That was a really smooth gear down there. Thank you. The way you used the gas made it much smoother as well because you were bringing the clutch up. Yeah. What's the speed limit on this road? Yeah. So I know these guys are probably going a bit quicker than that, so yeah. you need to keep an eye on your speed. Be aware of what the speed limit on the road is and yeah. check your own speed as well, yeah?
the speed bump is very harsh, you see? That's it. Go slowly here as well, so you need to go around it properly. Yeah? Yes. Slow down some more, please, brake more. Brake. That's it. Turn. Because so, if you go in there really quick, let's turn left here, please. Propagation needs. safe place. That's probably the longest we've driven without yeah. taking a stop, right? Yeah. How did so. you How did you find that? Uh, I thought it was it was okay. It was a bit challenging. Like mm. there was so much traffic mm. and so much going on, but I am starting to sort of like remember different, like what I'm supposed to do in different scenarios. Mm. Whether I have to go around somebody, there were so many people parked like on the side mm. where I had to like check my right and position right before mm. going around them. Checking the bus, stuff like that. So, a lot of yeah. challenges thrown yeah. away, and you dealt with them really calmly and properly as well. Thank you. Um, why do we check the right mirror before we go around those obstacles? To check any over if anyone is overtaking me, hmm. um, and also to it's like my position is like sort of like signal, letting them know I'm going around the bus. Exactly. So. On that point, would you have to signal to go around buses that are pulled over normally? Um, I don't think so. No, you wouldn't because, like you said, your position is telling yeah. everyone what you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. And do people expect you to wait behind the bus or go around the bus when it's pulled over? To go around? Yeah, everyone around, all the drivers around you expect you to go around if it's clear, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So you don't really need to let people know, oh, look, I'm going around this bus. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone okay. already knows. Yeah. What could be the danger of that, actually? Uh, signaling right. Let's say there's a bus stop um, in this bay here, mm -hmm. or just a bit further, and you're going round. You're trying to go around him, and you're signaling right. What what do, could be the problem there? Do you think? People might think I am going. If there's like a road right here. Yeah. So let, let's say there's a road just like the way it is now. There's a road over yeah. there. There's a bus stop just here. You signal to go around. Yeah. What's everyone around you going to think? They're going to think I'm going into that side road there. Yeah. So they might slow down. They might slow down. Think about other other people that might not be driving as well. So let's say there's a oh. there's a person waiting to cross. But see where that bike is over there, just behind that car. Yeah. Or maybe where that red car is actually further yeah. down. Yeah. Let's say there's a pedestrian waiting to cross there. They've seen your signal. Yeah. What are they gonna think again? They're gonna think that I'm going to the side. They think road. you're turning. So what will they do? They won't cross. They won't. They will oh, cross. They will if, cross. Yeah. If they think you're turning. Yeah, I think, yeah. oh, what's the point of waiting? This person's yeah. turning. Yeah. But really, you're not turning. Yeah. You're just going around that bus. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's one of the problems of signaling to go around buses. Yeah. That's why it's not done normally, yeah? Yeah. If you're stuck behind the bus, though, and let's say for some reason you've, you've misjudged it or something, and now you're stuck behind the bus, mm -hmm. and it's not moving, then you might want to let people know, look, I'm trying to come out of the space, please, guys. Can yeah. You, can you give me a chance to come out? Yeah. That's a bit different. Okay. But just normal driving, you wouldn't really have to signal okay. to let people know you're doing that, yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, and you know you said about your, the signals, your yeah. position is a signal, use that as well for other drivers, so like that blue car, I don't know if you on that hill, Yeah. and I was saying to you, look at the way it's positioned. Yeah. Yeah, and then it showed that yeah, you were in the end, he was going to the yeah. right like I thought. Yeah. So use that as well, so if people are positioned right, think to yourself, why is it positioned that way? You yeah. must be trying to do like, a right turn. Yeah. And that would just give you more time to actually plan your way around rather than waiting for them to signal first. Right, yeah. yeah go more, go on, this, on their position, not just their signal, yeah? Yeah. Um, doing much better with the holding the clutch now as well, because I think a couple of times you were moving off, a good amount of gas, but then you were bringing up the clutch a bit too quick. Yeah. It wasn't a problem that you stalled or anything like that, yeah. but do you, could you feel like the jerkiness? Yeah, yeah. and I felt the car go forward Yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, so if you do it too much, obviously, then it will result in a, in a stall. Yeah. But if you want a really smooth drive, 
just hold the clutch and if you feel hear the gas going down as well what should you do press on the gas a little bit, a bit more yeah just yeah. give it another little squeeze so that it goes uh, nice and smooth especially on hills as well because on hills does the car require more power or less power more, more power yeah. yeah yeah on hills you're doing really good hill starts by the way those are really Absolutely. tricky yeah, yeah yeah i think that was my first time using the um handbrake at a traffic light mm. and then like moving off with the handbrake mm. i don't think i did that last week I think, um, I, just, I think i just used the clutch and the brake yeah we didn't really get any situation like that where we we're on a hill yeah um whereas today we did yeah. probably going to get some more before the lesson's finished yeah. but i uh, just use the same technique okay? okay and the earlier you prepare yourself from those ones the better because then you're not worrying about doing all this so yeah. when, you, when you stop on a hill Get your foot comfortable, obviously, first. Okay, make sure you're in one. Handbrake on, set up a bit of gas. Biting point, and then when the guy in front of you moves, handbrake down, keep your feet still, yeah. and do what you've been doing. Yeah. Yeah? Any questions? Uh, no. I might move my seat yeah. back. Leave it if you need I to. Don't, I don't know if this is going to make any difference, but... Oh, that's too, that's too yeah. much. So when my... Um, when my foot's on the clutch, mm. right, when it's all the way down, mm. like, my knee really hurts, like, it feels like I'm, like, bent, it's bent too much. Okay, like, you're too close. That, if I'm, I'm trying to, like, feel what it feels like when I'm holding for a long time. Okay. Then, a little bit closer. That's where I was before, wasn't it? No, this is a bit further back. This is... Is that, is that more comfortable? I think so. That looks about, for me, that looks about the right position. Really? Mm. But yeah, it's all about how comfortable you That's are. That's better. So yeah. This one, yeah. Because uh, my my knee, there was too much of a bend in my knee, and I was pushing down. While you were pushing down, you're still like a big, yeah, like a quite big a bit bend. bend. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, press this. it up and down again. Is that comfortable yeah, when that's you press it? You don't. You're not stretching to to reach that, yeah. Not really. Okay, and hold the steering wheel. All good. That's better. Yeah. And how about the mirrors? Because whenever you you've adjusted yeah. your seat. The mirrors might be a bit off, yeah? Um, oops, maybe too much. Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah? Yeah. So, before we go, actually, I just remember a couple of times you're going a bit quick on some junctions. I know one of them coming off Crickwood Broad where you said it was because there was a lot going on, isn't it? And you didn't realise yeah. what you're doing with your feet. I think you told me to turn left yeah. and it was really busy. Mm. And on top of that, I think a woman started crossing she while did. the light was green, like our light was green. Mm. Um, so my foot was just still on the gas because there was a lot going on. Mm. I should have like slowed down and then made the turn. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, and then there's another one on the round, approaching this roundabout. We're going straight. But still, you're going a bit too quick for that because that's a lot of turning you've got to do there. Oh, okay. There's, I don't even remember that little mini roundabout just yeah, now. I remember, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you're going to go through it straight over, then obviously that speed was right, but we don't want to do that. We want to go around it carefully. And why, why is it important that we go around roundabouts rather than going straight over? Um, but isn't that the way you're supposed to like, yeah. go around them? But why is, it like, why is it made like that, that you, have to, that you go around rather than going straight over? To. Like to to help the other cars. Like I'm not sure actually how to describe, but you're going along the right way. The way you're saying is basically that to so when there's cars coming, yeah, we, we, want to, we don't want to be in their space. Yeah, yeah. And we don't want them in our space. So yeah. that's why we go around rather than going straight over. Because right. everyone got used to going straight over. Yeah. We're gonna be going into each other, aren't we? Exactly. Yeah. But if you go around, then that way the traffic keeps moving yeah. without getting each other's way. Yeah. Yeah. So just on the next few junctions. Um, start reducing the speed a bit earlier. Okay. And make sure you're, if you need to go into one, go into gear one, and then, and then carry on afterwards. Okay. Okay, any questions with that? Um, no. Let's drive on when you're ready to. Okay.
the next road on the right, please. The amount of gas you're using for that turn was perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, just make sure you straighten up quick after then and off. Once you get the car straight, uh, start adding a bit more gas. Okay. Yeah. But on the turn itself, that was really good. Did you feel it was quite controlled there? Uh, on the turn? Yeah, I think just the steering was yeah. a problem there. It was just straightening up quick afterwards, that's what yeah. it was. But uh, the actual turn itself was very good. At the end of this road, let's turn left, please. Breaking it out here. Yeah. We turn sharper here so we stay on our side. That's it. Good. Turn right at the roundabout, please. speed on the approach to that roundabout and then deal with that crossing nicely as well. At the next traffic light, turn left please. Think about where you're signaling. Can't do that, please. Get a bit closer. No. Yeah. So remember, this light's been green for ages. Don't speed up. Don't speed up. You might change, yeah? That's it. So once you get to light there, don't speed up, because if it changes, it's going to be very difficult for you to stop. Yeah. That speed that you're approaching was all right. Hey, do you want to check your left mirror here? Your left one? Yeah. Why do you check your left mirror there? Is it because of the busway? Not just because it's a busway, but because there's a lane there. And oh, cars okay. could come from there, enjoying this space. Because remember, there were cars parked there now. Yeah. So any car that was, any vehicle that was in the bus lane yeah. would have to come into this lane. So okay. just check that. So anytime with this space for any cars to be, so like here for instance, there's a space for a car to be here, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So when you get to like here, you check for anybody that might be checking check mirror. Yeah, you check for anybody that might try to go in front of you quickly like that. Okay. Yeah. Let's turn right at the lights, please.
as you moved off. Yeah. Yeah, because you came off. You tried to control it, but then you came off quickly afterwards. Yeah. Let's go uh, left of the roundabout, please. Careful, let's make sure you don't block the crossing. This is fine. Approach it slowly, so you check the right properly, please. So here, you want to use the shop's window as well as a, re sort of a reflection, yeah? Can you? yeah? Did you break this? Because the car's rolling back. You put a signal with that bass going? Um, oh, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you see the car on the right, first thing you want to look at is their signal, yeah? yeah. This guy didn't signal, so we couldn't do nothing about it, it's yeah. fine. Okay, signal. If they don't signal, there's nothing you can do because okay. we're not, we don't know that they're going to turn, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well done. Sometimes people don't signal, there's nothing really you can do about that. Yeah. Just, just expect that they're going to go straight because uh, with no signal on, we think they're going to go straight, isn't it? Yeah. Just keep going straight on, please, yeah? Roundabout, turn right, please. Look where this guy's going. Yeah. Turning right. Then. Nice. Well done. Break, clutch, clutch. I don't think that guy saw you getting to gear one, please. Let's carry on. Yeah, he shouldn't have come out like that, that guy. traffic at a roundabout so just prepare to stop in case they do indicate but then if they don't then we just carry on good we're going straight to this roundabout please on the left please. Just yeah. yeah there's a parking space here then. Yeah? So nice and slowly careful the, the, the reference point. That's it. Good. Okay, how do you feel it's going? Um it's okay. The only thing that kind of scared me was just that guy that came out <coughs> unexpectedly. Yeah. Um, but 
overall think it went it went well. Yeah, it's it's going really well. Um, with that guy, what can you do in that situation? Do you think when he's come out like that to prevent yourself from crashing into him? Um, you could stop. Yeah. I mean, I didn't put my clutch down. Yeah. So yeah. I was, I I just slowed down a little bit because mm. I did think, like I just assumed he saw me. Mm. But I guess I can't assume if he just just. I didn't know what he was gonna do. I didn't think he was gonna bolt out like that. No. So, um, I didn't know he was gonna do that either. But I didn't. The fact that I didn't know meant that I was ready to stop. So yeah. if you don't know what people are gonna do. Be ready to stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which means having your clutch ready and having your foot near the brake and then start slowing down. Because there was a point where I think this guy—I don't think he saw us. Yeah. Because he looked surprised when he saw us. Yeah, he looked a bit jumpy, didn't he? Yeah. He probably came from his blind spot as well. I don't think so. that's why it's really important to check your blind spot. I think because we'll, we came around the roundabout, he came from his blind spot. Yeah. If he had checked, he would have seen us. Yeah. But he didn't. Um, hopefully, he will learn from that. But from your point of view to prevent yourself from crashing into him just be ready for that situation and then clutch and brake to yeah. stop stop the car so you don't get into him yeah yeah uh, obviously I think that was the first time that's happened to you isn't it I think so that's that sort yeah. of a situation yeah, yeah. Uh, so well done for not panicking because um, that can be quite scary yeah but you dealt with that pretty well just make sure you brake next time okay. and clutch down as well right yeah um, yeah, should we carry on? Any questions about that or anything uh, that we've done? No, I don't think no? so. Okay, let's carry on anyway, please. Okay. Make sure you can hear the gas. Yeah, I can't hear any gas right now. There you go. Yeah, so we can put our signal on and wait. And well done for spotting these guys as well. Excellent. Good. I like that little last blind spot check you did as well. That was very good. So you couldn't really see the bend, but yeah. stopped a certain part of them, like in the mirror, mm. so I could see very well. Slow down, please. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Stop. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, this guy's crossing the road, yeah. You got the clutch? I think so. Right, it's there. You got it? Yeah. Press it down. Okay, carry on down the radio. Yeah, remember when you've got people near crossings, yeah. be ready to stop because okay. they could cross at any, any moment, yeah? Yeah. At the roundabout, let's go left please. We've got another lady cropped by the crossing again, so be ready to stop just in case she's going to have to cross. So remember, make sure she crosses all the way first, stop please, stop the car. She has to cross all the way before you carry on, okay? Okay. That's it. Oops. Where are we looking here? Oh. We're looking over there. Oh. Okay, turning here, yeah? turn please. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Take make sure on the left, please. It's just coming up just after these cars, yeah? Before that car's turning. Mm -hmm. Think about what you need to do as you approach it, yeah? Break more than this. Far away from the turn, would you normally signal? Uh, three. About three, about three houses away. Yeah. Okay, let's, yeah, signal way too early Okay, 
let's go left here please Toilet thing, that lab, yeah. yeah. So try to remember that junction where we where you went a bit where you said that you lift the clutch yeah. too high, yeah. Just yeah. we're gonna talk about it in a second. Okay. Let's take the next left, please. See some people, they'll, they'll come really close to yeah. this bit before you come out, so you need to make sure. Let's turn more please, turn more, turn more, turn more. So we don't come out too wide, yeah? Yeah, we want to make sure we don't come out too far, because some people turn really early. Yeah. Which is why you want to do it properly. When you turn around like that, make sure you go all the way around, that's fine. Yeah. You want to prevent that. Uh, let's pull over on the left just after the zebra crossing, please. Don't get too close to the van here so you yeah. get space to come. That's it. Okay, so take your mind back to that turn. Yeah. What do you think went wrong there? So I think I lifted the clutch too high. Mm. Um that's why we jerked a lot. Mm. And I'm trying to remember what I was thinking there. So I think my, I think I thought that my foot was on the gas too much. Mm. When I started to hear noise, I don't know, I lifted my foot off the clutch rather than lifting it off the gas. Mm. So it's like wrong, wrong foot basically, I, I did the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. In the first place, at that point there, where should the clutch have been? Down. No, yeah. should have been up already, that's, that's, where, you had, that's where you had the problem. Because you've, you've oh. done the gear change, yeah? Okay. And do you remember your car kind of stopping halfway through the turn? Yeah. Which is why you brought the clutch out to keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. The reason it stopped was because you had no power. So oh. you've changed your gear, but then you've kept the clutch down on the turn. Oh, okay. And then, because it's uphill as well, and now the car's got no power, the momentum is gone now, and then it's, oh. got, it's trying to go uphill, but it's not going to go uphill because the clutch is down, there's no power. Yeah. So to prevent that in the first place, as you approach the turn, what should you have done? Uh, just slowed down mm -hmm. and then changed gear mm -hmm. into one and then lift, lifted my foot off the brake and then slightly off the clutch. Yeah. Set a bit of gas but then controlling the clutch at the same time yeah. and steering in. Yes. So before you before you've actually get into the turn, have the clutch up already. Okay. So that way when you've turned the car has got power to keep moving because when it's down like that it's going to run out of power you won't have any yeah. power to keep moving because you're telling the, the wheels to disconnect the engine basically at that yeah. point isn't it yeah, yeah? Okay. so that could have been prevented by you doing the clutch a bit bringing the clutch a bit um earlier up yeah okay uh, and then if if that did happen like that and then to prevent yourself from kind of worse did you hear the wheel go, we'll go i think so yeah that's basically a wheel spin there yeah and that's because oh, did, oh, did it, do that? it did, yeah. Oh. And it's because it's wet today as well. Yeah. It's wet, it's uphill, it's quite leafy yeah. on the floor as well. Yeah. Uh, so you, if you bring the clutch up really quickly with a bit of gas on, it's going to do a wheel spin. Okay. So in the first place, or not in the first place, sorry, once you've made the mistake of bringing, going around with the clutch down, just to keep it moving smoothly, you should have just brought the clutch up smoothly and then you wouldn't have had that wheel spin. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. In, to prevent all that, what are you going to do next time? I'm going to lift the clutch a little bit earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Into the yeah. And just to give yourself more time, because you probably felt like you didn't have time to do that, yeah? But if you, to give yourself more time, what can you do as you approach the as you approach the, the turn? I can brake a bit earlier. Yeah, so brake a bit earlier. Yeah. Maybe do the gear change a tiny bit earlier as well. You don't want to do it too early. I did it too late that time. Yeah, I think you've done it kind of late so to the extent that you didn't have time to... Um, yeah. 
bring the clutch up because yeah. by the time you've done the gear change yeah. it's time for you to turn now yeah, yeah, exactly. which then now you're concentrating on the turn the clutch is still down unless you're really experienced it's going to be quite tricky for you to think about your turn and bring the clutch up smoothly and yeah. add gas there's a lot to do yeah. so you break it up into into sections so as you yeah. approach do your mirror signal get that out of the way yeah. braking you're bringing you're giving yourself more time now get into gear one bring the clutch up smoothly now your car's being controlled by gear one check your mirror again do your turn in gear one with the clutch engaged or the clutch up sorry and then you're moving on add some gas once you've done the turn yeah okay. most of the turns you've done them like that which is why it's worked out yeah um it was just that one you had your clutch down yeah all the way yeah, yeah? should we carry on any questions with that by the way um don't think so mm -hmm. yeah i just i didn't i knew what i did wrong mm. i just there were so many noises as well I, because you said the, the wheels they will spin yeah it does sound quite scary but yeah, uh, yeah. It, it can prevent that by just bringing the clutch up smoothly yeah. and on a wet day you're more likely to get that okay yeah you can get it on a dry day as well if you do it really quick but yeah. on a wet day the floors are really slippery so yeah. uh, more likely to spin easily yeah. should we carry on? Okay. when you're ready please Yeah, you might want to bring a handbrake up a bit higher as well, just like, there you go. Because they're not all the way down again. The handbrake? Yeah. Um, I mean, sorry, all the way up. It's got different levels, so it might not have been up enough, okay. or it might just be that you brought the clutch up too high. Okay. The thing is, you can't really tell how much the handbrake, because yeah. there's not like numbers on it. I remember that happened last week. When the when it started moving? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's because it wasn't really on that time. Well, this yeah. time it was on, but not, not strong enough. Yeah. People know you're coming now as well. Good. Always do that last minute, that last check of your shoulder again. It's yeah. really good. about let's turn right please there's more left a little bit I think that's it. that way you can go around around about properly yeah straighten up okay. Oh, Sorry. okay it's okay a bit more left Left. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There, you had lots of gas on. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's why. Did you not realize you were pressing the gas? I could hear it, and mm. then I was trying to sort it out. With the clutch. Before I could sort it out. Yeah. Um. I, I still. Well. Okay. Let's let's be careful this roundabout because we've got a van on the right here, haven't we? Okay. Let's carry on. Let's pull up here actually, there's a signal left. Yeah. A bit more left please. Just have a chat about that one. Straighten up. A bit more right. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Good. Yeah, so, um, do you know what happened there? From your point of view? Um. I can't really remember, I think, I don't really remember to be honest, no. it all happened really fast, so okay. I don't really remember. Alright, I'll talk you through what has happened. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've moved off nicely, it's the same kind of thing actually, When remember the last time we went on this roundabout, you added gas as you were making a turn? Yeah. Yeah, so you've done it again, but this time you added way more gas than before. Oh, okay. So I was going to remind you that this is the way you had lots of gas on, but I thought I would let you try it by yourself. Okay. But, um, yeah, you added quite a bit of gas on and then you try to control it with the clutch 
even though the gas was still quite a lot. Yeah. So you brought the clutch down, which then reduced the speed a bit, but then you brought it up all the way again. Yeah. So if you if you brought the clutch down, that will reduce the speed. And then if you got the gas on still, but then you bring up the clutch again really quickly, yeah. what will happen? Um, I was going to jerk forward. Yeah, again. you still go fast. So if you've got lots of gas on and you brought the clutch up really quick, even if you brought it down a second earlier, yeah. when you bring it up again, that's going to tell the car, yeah, I want to go fast now. Yeah. 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 So you've told it to go slow, but I've still got lots of power on, but go slow. And now go really quick. That's basically what you, was, what you told the car to yeah. do. Yeah. So to prevent that next time, what you should do, once you hear like lots of gas when you don't really need it, rather than pressing this just to clutch down, come off the gas a bit. Because yeah. you've done the initial move off of the gas, which was good, you needed that. But then now we don't need any more gas for this turn. Just ease off the gas. Okay. Yeah? So remember, you're not going to need the gas all the time when you're making turns. Okay. Once you've done the, the initial move, you don't need that, all, the, all that power. Okay. So ease off the gas. Because you remember with the clutch up, the car was still moving, even without gas. Right. You've noticed that, right? Yeah. So when you, let's say you're in traffic, you're yeah. not pressing any pedals, the car will still keep moving, isn't it? Sometimes that'll be enough to make that turn. That speed is enough. Yeah. Adding gas on will make that speed too much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just think about that on the next uh, turn that we do, yeah? Okay. Uh, we'll probably practice that a bit more next lesson as well, because uh, we're running out of time now. Yeah. But, um, don't let that kind of like overshadow the lesson that you've done okay. really well on the other turns, okay? Mm -hmm. Should we carry on? Yeah. When you're ready, please. Mm-hmm. Make sure you can hear the gas. A bit more than that. Perfect. The roundabout, let's turn left, please. I'm check early, let's see. There as well, you want to be ready with the clutch just in case this guy takes long yeah. to, to make that turn, yeah? Yeah. Let's take the next right, please. What gear we can use for this? Okay, so less gas now, we don't need any gas for this bit now, yeah? Down a bit, straighten up quickly. Okay. That's it. And let's go on the left here, please. So just turn left when you're ready. Can we use a clutch control yet? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Up a bit. That's it. Good, like that, yeah. Up and down, up and down, down, and brake. Brake. There you go. And then. And breathe. <laughs> Switch the engine off, please. Okay, so how do you feel that went? Uh, I thought the beginning part was good, like mm -hmm. when I was driving for a long time mm -hmm. and um, I was getting used to the clutch control in certain um, areas, mm. but then for some turns I did well, and then other turns obviously, like I messed up a bit. Mm. Um, I think sometimes I just get confused in 
sometimes, like the really sharp ones, mm. um, like roundabouts. When we're on a roundabout turning right, right mm. I really struggle with that for some reason. Okay. Um, but I think what I did do, yeah, I press. I was pressing the gas when I don't really need to. Mm. Um, I should have just used the clutch to control the car to go around. Yeah. So. Yeah, so yeah. You've, you've, you've used the gas initially, which was what you needed yeah. to move off. But then, once you've gone into the roundabout, it's actually a sharp turn now. So the last thing you want there is more power. If anything, you want less power. Mm -hmm. So, um, rather than adding more gas, you should be actually off the gas completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thinking about the rest of the drive, though, that was pretty decent, no? Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. I think it's the furthest we've gone today. Yeah. Gone I think like so. towards Kilburn, um, yeah. Cricklewood. Yeah. On the main roads there as well. Because last time we only did this main road, isn't it? Was I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you should be really proud of that actually. Um, yeah. And don't don't feel like if you make mistakes that you're rubbish or something like that because <coughs> excuse me, this is what the lessons are here for. Yeah. Make mistakes, learn from them. Mm -hmm. I'll be a bit worried if you didn't make mistakes, by the way, because I'll be a little bit like, oh, what's going on here? And then yeah. you won't really learn anything. You won't really learn yeah. from them. Yeah. Do you understand? Uh, so it's good to make mistakes and realise, OK, I've done that wrong. Um, I, can, I can do it this way next time. Yeah. And you're doing it in an environment that's pretty, pretty controlled. So I've got this control on my side as well. Yeah. So don't be afraid to uh, make those mistakes or don't let them like kind of overshadow the rest yeah. of the stuff that you did because it was really good today. Okay. Yeah. Thank Steering is getting much better. Um, mirrors are excellent. Just general awareness around you as well is really good. And I like I love your confidence on the road. You're not like scared of things that's happening, or you're not overly reactive to. You're not too nervous about what's happening in front of you, which is what's keeping you yeah. going at a nice pace. Uh, let's let me write this some of this stuff down just okay. so we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you should be really happy with that. Okay. <laughs> it was good. Making excellent progress. Thank you. So uh, we drove. Where are you? So we drove a lot. Of, drove from home today, which was really good. I'm glad you chose to do that in the yeah. end. Yeah, <laughs> I was nervous about doing that, but wasn't as bad. Fine. It wasn't as bad doing yeah. it, was it? Um, drove a lot further out. Dealt with a lot of roundabouts today as well. Yeah, I want to practice them a bit. Yeah. yeah. Better steering. So we said practice turning right at roundabouts a bit more. Yeah. And just those sharp turns in general, like even the sharp turns into the side roads. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because. My, when I'm turning the gas and the clutch when they work together mm. because I think it's because I'm doing a lot at once mm. the steering making sure my steering is okay and then the foot controls at the same time that's when I tend to like mess up mm. okay we can definitely work on uh, those sharp turns yeah, yeah. Um, so I think let's just write this down so we exactly know what we're doing next time it was the gas Sometimes using too much gas yeah. for when it's a sharp bend. Yeah, and then even when I was using too much gas, instead of easing off it, mm. I put my foot down on the clutch mm. with still a lot of gas. Mm. So then when I brought it up again, I was going really fast. Exactly, when you bring it up again quickly. If you brought, if you had brought the clutch up smoothly there, it wouldn't be such a big issue. Yeah. But it's the way you're bringing it up again, that's what's causing the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. It's quite a while back, but the traffic lights by walls down there, turning right towards um, the mini roundabout. Yeah. So we're like we've gone down the College, Dudden Hill. Yeah. Then you can go left towards the High Street or, or right towards that roundabout just there. Yeah, and you said you, you it was a bit jerky. You said that's because you controlled it the clutch a bit, but then when you brought the clutch up again, it was high. So if you want to control it, don't bring the clutch up high again. You bring it up a tiny bit. Small bits at a yeah. time, just at the biting point again. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Until you've until you've done the, the whatever you need to do slowly, then you bring up all the way. Until then, play around just around the biting point. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
We're making turns. We dealt with a couple of zebras crossings as well. And the worst time that I had to tell you, like, oh, look, let this person oh, yeah. um, cross all the way. Why do you think we need to let them cross all the way? Um, if, is it in case someone else comes? I don't know. Kind of that as well, but it's also some people change their minds. Do they go back? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Especially kids. Um, yeah, run back. Yeah. yeah, let them cross all the way first, but yeah. let them go on, on to like their foot near the pavement and then check both sides again and then start moving. Yeah. How do you feel about doing a, a bit of practice on pedestrian crossings on the next lesson? Yeah, yeah. I think being more aware of them would help. Mm. So I, I did notice most of them today. Mm. There was just this the one where we were going up towards Halston. By the police. And there was a police car and because there mm. was people already standing near there, mm. I didn't notice that guy waiting at the zebra crossing. Mm. When you told me to stop, mm. I was wonder, I was wondering why, why am I so, why do I stop? <laughs> yeah. So I think yeah, it's because he was so close to all the police stuff that was going on. I mm. didn't notice. Yeah. Okay. You thought he was part of that? What was going yeah, on there? Yeah, I thought he was part of it. Yeah. No, because of where they were situated, they were right by the crossing. Anytime anybody's near the crossing, the yeah, safest sure. thing to do just assume that they're going to cross. Okay. Uh, so approach it like they're going to cross, and then when they don't, as you get there then you carry on okay. if you approach it like they're not going to cross yeah. then that's when you can have issues yeah always think okay that person's by the crossing there's a strong chance that this person's going to cross yeah so i'm just going to check my mirrors make sure to see, see who's around me start slowing down ready to stop i'll get there okay they're not crossing then you carry on okay. rather than thinking the other way around that they're not yeah. going to cross yeah. yeah um so we'll focus a bit more on pedestrian crossings on the next lesson and and then we said we're going to work a bit more on the sharp turns yeah And maybe go 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 a bit further out as well, rather yeah, than just sticking to the area. Yeah. yeah, it was good today. <laughs> a lot a lot of good progress was made today. Thank you. Um, and yeah, we'll cover, we'll continue that on the next lesson. Yeah? Okay. Do you have any questions before I go? So okay. I think, yeah, I know I, I did wrong and what I need to work on. Yeah. So I'll, I'll watch back at this video as well and see mm. what my because when you ask me sometimes what were you thinking like in the moment, mm. I forget because it all happens so fast. I can understand. Yeah. So yeah. I don't remember what, exactly what I was doing with my feet. Mm. So that's why sometimes we try to talk about it quickly, but sometimes yeah. there's no space to t to pull over. Yeah. And and discuss it. Yeah. Because uh, it'd be a bit tricky to pull over there. That's why we can pull over somewhere safe, yeah. and then we can talk about it when we can so that we it's still fresh in your mind yeah. Um, but yeah I understand that sometimes lots of things are happening yeah. um, <clears throat> but you're dealing with them pretty well you're not panicking you're not like stressing out over it yeah. you're quite relaxed as a person which is like, really helping really? these lessons <laughs> to go in a smooth way yeah yeah, yeah. it's making the lessons really smooth and really stress free for me as well because yeah. I, I think like your your calm energy is like just rubbing off of me it's just like oh, everything's really? in the car yeah it's really calm <laughs> in the car if you continue that you can be you'll be a really good driver Honestly. Thank you. So I shall see you uh, next week, same next. time? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Fine. Well done today. Thank you. All right. You got your stuff in the back, yeah? Okay, so that's the end of Leomara's lesson. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we did encounter some challenges here and there, and I'm pretty sure you can tell she did really well, stayed composed, wasn't too nervous. I'm really proud of the way she uh, handled the lesson today. Uh, she did make some mistakes here and there, but we're going to work on those it's quite normal for people to make mistakes on their lessons um, so we're going to work on those on the next couple of lessons coming up and any future lessons that come up uh, what you have to remember is if you make mistakes if you learn something and you kind of get used to it doesn't mean that you're not going to make mistakes on it again if you do on your lessons don't stress too much it's just part of the learning process just keep going and you're going to get better and before you know it you won't be making those mistakes uh, too many times um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did remember to subscribe uh press that like button and comment below if you have any uh, questions or any any feedback that you want to give so until the next video guys we'll see you later